Hey guys, it's Irish again. Uh, this is part two of configuring the i3 window manager. In the last video, I showed you how to download the font awesome and how to put it into your config. Uh, this video, um, we're just going to talk about how to configure the i3 status bar and then also how to use nitrogen. So we'll first do nitrogen. So if we just uh, bring up our terminal. Uh, if you remember from the last one we downloaded that Pac-Man wallpaper and so we're just gonna add that to our wallpaper on the back. So if you just type in nitrogen then home then your username and then we saved it in pictures and if you see it it's right there. So now we could do automatic which it would automatically fill the screen you can scale it you can center it tile it zoom it or that so if you did have two monitors you can put one on one screen and one on the other so we'll just keep with the scale and if we just click apply and then close this out and go to another you'll see that there now to save this uh, so that it automatically comes up every time that you boot into i3 we just have to make uh, a small um, change to the config file so if we just open up the config file again and then we'll go all the way down to the bottom here I like to put it underneath the bar but again you can put this anywhere in your uh, config file so if we just do exec exec execute and then nitrogen two space two bars and then restore this will automatically restore what the nitrogen's um, what the nitrogen uh, background was that you set so if we uh, restarted this you would see the first uh, uh, the one that we just set up so let's just save that uh, also in this video I was going to help uh, show you guys how to um, you know configure the i3 status by default uh, the i3 status is in uh, the Etsy folder so me personally I like to keep my i3 config file and my i3 status config file in roughly the same um, folder so I like to keep it in my home folder so if we could just do a copy Etsy and an i3 status dot conf and then move it to uh, home folder I like just to call it i3 status dot conf but again you can call it uh, you can move it into the i3 and then just call it status.config or status.conf. I did move this in earlier. Uh, so if we do an ls and then a to show uh, hidden files, you'll notice it right here. So that is how to copy it from one location to the one that you'll remember every time. So let's just clear that out. So let's just open that up. Let's uh, increase this. So in order, it does show uh, IPv6, if you have one, uh, how much disk is left uh, in your root folder, your DHCP, VPN, wireless. So to show or to get rid of them from the bottom, you just um, comment it out with the hashtag or the num, the numeral uh, sign. So I like to change. Uh, one thing in here uh, by default it comes with battery zero but um, it doesn't show any of my battery so what I do is just do battery one here and then you would also have to change it down here uh, right here and then to sh uh, by default also it shows uh, the status percentage and then the remaining um, but it doesn't show the true capacity of it because if your battery is degrading over time it'll just show what the uh, 
what the percentage is that's left of the battery. So to 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 bypass that, I guess you would just type in last underscore full underscore capacity equals true, and then also uh, if you don't want to see the dot like 100 dot you would just do integer underscore battery underscore capacity equals true and then that will make it a whole number instead also if you wanted to put the um, font awesome in here you would just uh, let's go to the font awesome website yet again so if we come to back to the cheat sheet here uh, I like to use a Wi-Fi one which is all the way down here so if we uh, copy or highlight it copy and then paste it right here and then I like to do that save it and then refresh you'll notice down here that the icon is there so you can change so you can have an icon for each one of these if you'd want you just put it in front of the um, just what it's gonna uh, show so Wi-Fi on and then ethos all that stuff so the second thing um, I like to show in my uh, i3 status is my volume control uh, which is volume master right here uh, so with that you just type in volume master and then brackets and then you have to do format and then it would be volume you have to uh, determine what the device is if it's going to be pulse audio or just a default one so I just use it default and then the mixer would be the master so it would be the also uh, mixer and then you close that and then you would also have to put it up here in which order you will want. So if I wanted this first in front of my Wi-Fi here, all I would do is move this in front of this and it will show up right there. So that is all I was going to show you guys in this video. Uh, let me know if there's uh, um, if you have any questions. I will uh, uh, the next video will show you how to add the volume controls, the brightness controls, and then how to colorize the bottom bar here. Um, one thing I did say in the first video was that there was going to be a shortcut to uh, to you know powering off or just restarting or shutting down your computer from a shortcut, but uh, the shortcut that I use in my Arch is through System D, so. I will have to change uh, the shortcuts to mimic what uh, the Ubuntu's use, which is the uh, init system or upstart. Um, but again, Ubuntu is going to be changing to um, system D probably within the next few um, in the next few uh, releases. So I will show you what the system D one looks like. And then I'll show you which changes you need to make to uh, make it current so you can shut down the uh, your i3 and your computer from the shortcut. But that is all I have uh, for tonight, and I will see you guys next video.